welcome to another week of Orange Baptist Church Virtual Children's Sunday School. So I want you to see something I have today. Get it. Do any of you guys know what this is? I'll let you look at it from the string angle. And look inside. That's right. It's a scale. It's actually called a balancing scale. There's lots of different types of scales. Um, at home, you might have a scale that you stand on and numbers pop up and it said, you weigh 45 pounds. Well, this scale works a little bit differently. It helps you see if there's one object that is heavier than another object or if they're equal in weight. And how it works is, um, if you can look right here, see this arrow? When it matches up with this line right there, it means that both sides are perfectly equal in weight. If this side's heavier, see how the line moves and the yellow side goes down? That means that the yellow side's heavier. If it moves this direction and the blue side goes down, the blue side's heavier. And so that's how the scale works. So I have another experiment for you guys today and we're going to be using this balancing scale. Um, so I have a little container of stones and what I'm going to try to do is make my balancing scale even. So I'm going to move the camera so you can see the scale and we're going to talk through this, okay? Okay, so I've pulled out two stones and as you can see right now it is even because the lines are matching up and I'm going to take a stone and I'm going to put it in this side. Do you think it's even? No, it's not because look, the line's not lined up. So we know that this side's heavier. So now I'm going to add another stone to this side and see if it's even. Well, if we wait just a second, we can see that mm, it's almost even, but look, it looks like the blue side's just a wee bit heavier. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to make it even again. Let me just see if I can add another one and see if that makes it even. Whoa, that was way too heavy. Look at the yellow side went way down. All right, I'm going to try to add another one to the blue side and see what happens. That didn't do it. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll do one more. Well, now we're back to the blue side being even. It's really hard to make it even, isn't it? I thought it was. Has anyone ever said something to you that hurt your feelings? Maybe they called you a name that you didn't like, what was your reaction? Did it make you want to go back and call them a name? And then they want to call you a name and then you want to call them a name and it's kind of like our balancing scale. It never really evens out. It just keeps hurting one another. It stays uneven. Well, guess what? Today, our Bible story is all about that. It's in our nature to want to just retaliate and get back at the person that's hurt us. But do you know what our Bible says? In Matthew chapter 18, verse 15, it says that if a person has hurt you, go to them and talk to them about it. And if they listen, guess what? You've made a friend. That's amazing. I've heard the saying, don't get mad, get even. But as we saw on our scale, that does not work. You can't get even. What about, don't get mad, get ahead? That's what this Bible verse is saying. If we get to a place with a friend where they've hurt us, let's go and talk to them. Let's, let's let, listen to each other and then we can be friends. And guess what? Then we've ended up ahead. It's the best case scenario. And that's what Jesus always does. He gives us the wisdom to know how to deal with all sorts of situations. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you that 
even in hard situations where people say ugly things about us that we don't like and hurt us, that you show us how to make it better. You give us the wisdom to be able to talk to them and, and listen to each other. And I just pray that we would remember that this week, that you would show us that um, we, can, we can be friends with each other, we can talk things through, and we can come out with a solution. Thank you for being my friend, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. This week, I have a little bit of a different um, thing for crafts. I found a video with a lady who does three different great crafts on being a friend. So if you go under description in my um, YouTube area, it will have the link to the craft where you can choose which one you want to do. So I hope you enjoy doing that. And also there's a dance worship song. So if you need to get some energy out, turn that song on and start praising the Lord. All right, see you next week. Bye-bye.